here's a pet peeve of mine. When replacing contactors, as you can see here, there's two contactors for the condenser fans. And the contactors that are here are lug style connectors. And what's on there is forks. Now the old contactors were terminal screw style connectors that forks went around. When they replaced them, they installed lug style contactors, which is fine. But what they do is they cut one fork off of the existing connector and just shove that inside the lug. As you can see, it's done with all of them. And there's more. Okay, now I can understand doing that if the wires don't reach and you can't cut them. But for here, there's plenty of wire that they easily could have just cut the crimps off and put raw wire underneath each terminal. Because what happens is these forks are a certain size, a certain thickness, and cover a certain surface area to handle the amperage load that they're rated for. Now when you cut off one fork like this, what you're actually doing, it's like stripping off strands of a wire to fit it under a lug. You're causing the same amount of current to go through a smaller wire, which is going to generate heat, which is going to cause the wire to heat up, the terminals to heat up, and you're going to start seizing contactors, welding them together, or you're going to get like what's happening here, where the wires are actually burning up. And here. Here. But these are by far the worst. These, yeah, these two down here, which are for the compressors. So what's happening is this is now the second time the service call came in because the compressor breakers are tripping because of heat. Now the compressors are okay, but it's the wiring that is creating the extra heat which is tripping the breakers. So now I'm gonna go in and replace all the connections down here because it's going to keep happening if we don't fix it. So I'm going to take care of that now. And here's a little tip. When you have a wire like this that you need to strip, so we cut the head off here, the jacket of the wiring is actually kind of shrunk and stuck to the conductors. So what you do is you give it a cut. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand here and then take your strippers or linesmen and squeeze it on the jacket where you're gonna be stripping on all sides like that. And when you do that, it'll strip and it'll slide right off. If you don't do that, it's gonna be a pain to try to get it off because it's literally stuck and melted to the conductor inside. And another thing that bothers me is I find this all the time. When it comes to checking contactors, which is good to check, you should check them on inspections, service calls, and things like that. But it's not putting this cover back on. The contact cover is actually very important. It keeps dust and debris and anything foreign out of the contacts. Um, it actually makes the contactor last longer. So if you, when you check the contactors and you remove the contact cover, just throw it back on. Two little Phillips head screws takes four better way of doing something that would just be the way to do it okay so any of these contactors could have welded and you could have taken out uh, 
$5,000 compressor or a condenser fan or a blower motor, BFD, who knows. Okay, so don't take shortcuts, do things the right way and you won't have any issues. You won't have to worry about what's going on. You can sleep at night and everyone's happy. All right, well, have a good one. See you in the next video.